These Afghan babies were born with severe deformities. And Mohammed Daoud Merakai, an Afghan-American doctor, blames the U.S. forces for these crimes. He says that the U.S. used depleted uranium in Afghanistan. Merakai has described this as genocide in his latest book entitled Afghanistan After Democracy. This book gives an insight how grim life is in this country. All bird defects were revealed through alarming photographic images. Mr. Merakai complains of being overwhelmed by the number of these cases. People had uh, uh, lost their lives without any physical sign of injury. Uh, and then there were, of course, uh, uh, bizarre, uh, uh, you know, scenes where uh, uh, birds on, on, on trees had melted. Uh, and, and that kind of uh, posed the question as to what's going on. The U.S. flatly denies this. These findings have not been supported very much by the Afghan officials, too. They refuse to talk to us on this issue on camera. The U.S. bombarded Afghanistan in late 2001 to topple the Taliban regime. The Taliban was ousted from power, but the U.S. used a massive amount of depleted uranium warheads at that time, Mirakai says. And the U.S. forces are still using them, he claims. Uh, since 2001, when the U.S. invaded Afghanistan, the U.S. has used uh, a lot of uranium weapons in Afghanistan and many other types of weapons that have uh, no use in conventional warfare. Merakai's book does not finish here. It goes on saying that it was a lie that democracy has been installed in Afghanistan. The book blames the U.S. for seeking its own interests and betraying the Afghans under the pretext of democracy and reconstruction. It refers to the reconstruction process of the U.S. as total fraud. America now wants to earn more from his book and spend the earnings on some development projects here in his country. It's not only in Afghanistan where depleted uranium weapons have been used and local people were increasingly affected. During the first Persian Gulf War in early 1990s, Kuwait and Iraq were also reportedly bombed by over 350 tons of such weapons. But here in Afghanistan, there seems to be no way to fight it. Fires for Sheet, Press TV, Kabul.